Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app for iOS name as DMS, DMSS for mobile phone. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss the installation of free DMSS for mobile or for iOS devices and the its configuration and the method is very simple for the mobile phone or iOS installations in this video first we will let you know that what is DMSS mobile applications so basically DMSS mobile application is an app which is used to connect as well as control the Dahua CCTV camera on PC it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet so now so keep watching video till end will tell you that how you install and how you configure to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one please press the bell icon also so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos so for installations you should do that you should open the app store and just install the DMSSS and here when you search for DMSS here you find on the top of the list DMSS and, and under that you find that utilities just click on the get and just double click to allow access now it is installing the app on your iOS device and so it will take little time and after that will tell you that how you configure to make the camera live so keep watching now it is installed just click on open and just allow DMSS would like to send you notification. you should allow so that when the camera goes offline uh, it gives notifications and alarm notifications DMSS would like to you critical alerts you should again allow here you find that uh, little uh, answer that critical alerts always play a sound and appears on the log screen so if you want then you should do otherwise you don't just give allow and after that just click on this now it asks to select a region just click India and click done now here just click on the license I have read an agreement of user privacy just, just click next and here it asks you to watch the videos or skip so I just preferably click on skip and again here you find the login option or sign up option just click on the sign up and here it asks for a email id and the password so you just email id and the password you should any the password should be alphanumeric so you should select according to your and just click get for verification code so here it asks for a verification code just open my email and here i enter my now you should log in using your email address
and the password. Just click login. Now, this is the interface of the software. So first thing you should do that you should find the add device option or this plus button. So you can add device from both this plus button and the add device option. So I just click on the add device. So now here you should see that it asks for a, a QR code scan. If you are in front of the IP device, if you are in front of the IP device, it means that uh, you are able to scan then you should use this option otherwise if you want to add any re any remote location device so for that you should click either click this button to access to give the access to the gallery otherwise you should uh, click on the manual enter sn and when you do this here you should enter the serial number so i just copies my serial number to so just paste it here and just click done and after that just click on the next and here it asks for whether your device is nvr or xvr whatever you have so just click on the in my case i am using nvr so i just go for that otherwise you should choose ptz camera and whatever you want so just i just skip nvr when i do this you can see that here you can put anything like test device in my case and here it is for a password so just give a password here okay so please note that note that this is the username and password of the device means the device you are adding and serial number is of the is, is also of device the device you are adding whether it is a ip cam whether it is dvr whether the nvr and after that just click on the save when I do this just wait for a few minute now just click on complete it and here you find that your device is comes online okay so here you find that just click on this as hd option and sd options so when you click on sd option then uh, then the it take little uh, less amount of bandwidth and the camera quality is blurred and when you click on hd uh, then the camera quality is clear and you find a, a perfect view and it takes a lot of bandwidth okay so there is a lot of option like a screenshot and play a recording and here you find the recording in your device just recording is saved here you here is a snapshot like that and if you want just again just go to the next page here you find that this is the interface when you log in the software you your device look like this okay so if you want here you find the live view playback door and many more options okay alarm so if you want to check the playback of the uh, of the device and just, just click on the playback and just select a date and like this and just click ok and just click play button okay so it totally depend on the internet speed like Just click on OK and here you find a lot of options like play buttons and recording button and many button like OK. So in in uh, in that way you can find the playback. So in my case there is no SGD installed so that's why it's not showing. You can check from here. So this is all about that how you um, install the dmss app in your ios device and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its features so thank you for watching 
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू वंस अगेन